Hello everyone. Welcome to the series of econometrics using R Studio. This is Dr. Atman Shah. In this video, I'm going to discuss how to detect autocorrelation through Durbin Watson test. You can find more videos on econometrics, SPSS, R Studio, mathematical economics on my YouTube channel. So don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon. So let's begin with the idea of autocorrelation. What do we mean by autocorrelation? So if error term in time period t is associated with error term in time period t plus 1, then we have the problem of autocorrelation. So that is the idea of autocorrelation. Let's discuss how to perform a Durbin-Watson test in our studio because Durbin-Watson test is used to detect autocorrelation. So here I already have the data. You can uh, check my video on how to import data from Excel. So let's see the data, autocorrelation data. So first column shows the years. Then we have cropping intensity, that is CRIN, then irrigation and fertilizer consumption. So here cropping intensity is our dependent variable, which depends on irrigation and fertilizer. So first we need to run the regression model after attaching the file. So you can attach the file by using attach command and autocorrelation data is the name of the data. You can give any name. So now I'm running the regression model. So my model is we use lm command to run regression. What is our dependent variable? It is cropping intensity which depends on irrigation plus fertilizer. So model is run. Then write summary of the model. So here we can see the overall significance of the regression model. The p-value is less than 0 0.05 and therefore entire model is statistically significant. And from here, we can see the significance of the coefficients. I'm not going into the detail of this explanation because it is already there in my simple linear regression model and multiple linear regression model videos. Here, I'm going to focus on Durbin-Watson test. Now, how to detect whether we have the autocorrelation problem in this data set or not? So, before we perform the Durbin Watson test, you need to download the LM test package. So, simply write install.packages, LM test, and then library. Now, run the Durbin Watson test. So, what is null hypothesis of Durbin Watson test? The null hypothesis says that there is no autocorrelation. An alternative hypothesis says that we have the uh, autocorrelation problem or it shows the presence of the autocorrelation problem. So command is WDW test for our model. So write model and simply run. So here we have the result for Durbin-Watson test. The test statistic is 1.5661 and associated p-value is 0 0.02605. So here p-value is less than 0 0.05. So therefore null is rejected that shows the presence of auto correlation. So this is how we can uh, detect the auto correlation problem through Durbin Watson test. If you find this video useful, kindly like, share, comment and subscribe. Thank you.